two, use the fair old technique to knit the flower and heart motifs in square one hearts and flowers. I've already completed here row one of chart one, so I'm ready to begin row two. But just before I do this, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to read a fair old chart and the two main techniques that are needed, which are stranding and weaving in. So if we look at row two, first of all, beginning on the left hand side of the chart and working across towards the right, it begins with four iris stitches, then two coral, three iris, two coral, five iris, and then that pattern is repeated across the row to the end. When you have three stitches or less in a block, it is fine to strand the unused colour across the back of the work, which is a technique I will show you in a moment. But when there are more than three stitches in a block, so four, five, six and so on, you will need to weave the unused colour into the back of the work so that the strands across the back are short rather than long. So let's get going then with row two. At the beginning of this row, I'm going to join in the coral yarn. Even though I don't need it until the fifth stitch in, I'm going to join it in so it's ready to use for stitch number five. So I'm laying the coral over the top of the right hand needle. Then as I go to purl the first stitch using iris, it just catches it in. It's loosely caught in, but it's enough for it to be held securely until I need it on stitch number five. So I'm going to work two stitches and because this begins with a block of four, four iris, I'm going to do my first weave, which is to carry the coral across the back of the work. So I do this by placing the coral over the left hand needle like so. Then as I go to purl and bring the new loop down, the new loop through by bringing the needle down, I miss the coral yarn. The coral yarn then slips off to the back with the old iris stitch. Then I bring the coral forward, purl again, and it holds the coral in place a second time. That's a wrong side weave. I'm now ready to use coral. Now coral, I'm going to pick up from under the iris. And by that, I mean, if I was to pick up the coral like this, it would be over the top. But if I pick it up from here, it's underneath. And I'm going to pick up coral underneath all the way across this chart. And I'm going to pick up iris on top. What this does is it stops the yarns from tangling so that at the end of this row, in the end of every row, the yarn should still be untangled. So picking up the coral from under, I'm going to purl two coral stitches. Then picking up the iris from on top, I'm going to purl three stitches. Now I'm just putting enough tension on that yarn to drag the iris across the back of those two stitches. It's always important to keep the stitches on the needle spread to the correct width so they don't bunch up and so that you don't get puckering across the back where the strands are. Okay, I've done three iris. Now I'm purling two coral. So I pick the coral up from under the iris and work one, two stitches. Okay, if I look at the chart now, I've got five 
iris stitches. So iris picked up from on top. One, two, I can do anything up to three stitches before weaving. So because I've got five stitches and a weave takes up two stitches, I'm going to work three iris and then weave the coral. So coral picked up from underneath goes across the needles. Then I purl the stitch, just holding the coral up out of the way as I bring the iris stitch through, drop the old iris, iris, iris stitch and the coral off to the back, bring the coral forward so that as I work that last stitch in iris, the coral weaves in again. It, it does what's called a full weave. That works across two stitches at a time. Okay, drop the iris, pick up the coral, and I'm back to a repeat of the two coral stitches. Three iris. Two coral and then five iris. So I'm going to do three, purl three iris stitches, then I'm going to weave the coral. That's five iris stitches and it's two coral, three iris, two coral, and should be finishing with four iris. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to work two iris stitches and it's important that each time you come to the end of the row, you take both yarns to the end of the row with you. So actually, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to work um, one stitch there. I'm going to, whoops. I'm going to weave in the coral across the next two stitches to keep that nice, and tight at the back of the work and then on the very last stitch and I do this at the end of every row that's both knit rows and purl rows I'm going to purl that last stitch using both yarns now this is something that I do to help keep the edge of my ferrule knitting nice and neat and I find it really works and keeps those edge stitches nice and tight looking rather than loose Moving on to chart row three. So it begins with four iris stitches. So I'm going to work two stitches in iris and then I'm going to, going to weave in. Now we're on a right side row here weaving. Weave in the coral yarn. So you do this on a right side row by still picking up the coral yarn from underneath the iris. Yarn across the needles and hold up here if you can to keep it steady. As you knit the stitch using iris, bring the new iris stitch through, release the old stitch off the needle and then if you can hold on to that coral yarn as you work the next stitch, it completes a full weave. Okay, picking up coral from under iris, I'm going to work two stitches, sorry, three stitches in coral. Drop that down, pick up the Irish yarn iris yarn from on top then it's three coral so it's one two 
three. Then it's five iris. So iris picked up from on top. I'm going to work three stitches in iris. Then I'm going to carry the and weave the coral across the back. So again, it's picking up coral from underneath iris, placing it over the cross of the needles, knitting the stitch, but just making sure the needle comes below the coral here so that I don't drag that through to the front. Push the old stitch and the coral off to the back, but holding the coral in place. Knit again with the iris and you get that full weave again across the back of the work. And that's what you're repeating across the row, keeping coral under and iris over. And again, at the end of this row, I'm going to work one iris. I'm going to weave coral across the next two stitches. And then I'm going to complete the row by knitting those that last stitch together using both yarns. And that way you should get a nice neat stitch at the edge there. If we turn the work around you will see the nice even strands at the back of the work where I've stranded and I've woven in. Now just a, a note about um, row four where you have uh, in the middle section there seven stitches in iris. When you weave the colour that you're weaving, regardless of what it's been doing across the row, must be um, picked up from underneath. So when you work those seven stitches and then there's five stitches at the outer edges in iris, I can see as well on row four, you need to make sure that iris is picked up underneath when you weave, otherwise the weave won't work. And that's how you're going to be working this square Following the charts, you've got three charts, charts one, two and three to follow for your hearts and flowers square.